we're at the North Millican OHV area. This is the class two area that Prineville BLM has allowed us to use. It's a cinder pit, it's an active pit, but we play with it as much as we can. We like it, it has a great view at the top. My name is Mona Drake. I belong to Deschutes County Four Wheelers, which is a branch off of Pacific Northwest Four Wheel Drive Association. And I also sit on the Southeast Oregon Resource Advisory Council, where I told them about spill kits. We want to be environmentally sound and have a sustainable sport. And the only way that we're going to be able to do that is to teach each other how to pick up our little messes. We come out and we play in the rocks and in the desert and in the forest. And if our transfer cases leak or our differentials break, we have spillage. So what we've done is put together spill kits. You need diapers or pig skins enough to pick up the liquid in your vehicle and some type of bag or bucket to carry it out with you. Two of these are sufficient to soak up all the liquid that's contained in one of our rigs. We do this to keep access and we work closely with the BLM and the Forest Service to keep our access. Through education and signage and information passed from person to person, we'll be able to keep access. The sport itself is family oriented. Get out there, teach your kid about the out of doors, but also how does the machine work and how's it gonna to respond to what, what you put it through. I have a real big desire to have E e access for everybody and a sharing of the trails and other than just staying on the trail and being legal, Spill Kits is another, another p chapter in us being able to keep access. <laughs>